Oh, they got a whole operation going down in here. I did not expect this. Welcome to Da Nang for day two of our three-day Vietnamese Tet series, made possible by one trip. Tet, or the Lunar New Year, is the biggest celebration of the year in Vietnam, bringing families together for fun, relaxation, and food. In our last video, I took part in a massive traditional Hanoi-style Tet feast. This time, I'm with Da Nang local Helen Le. We're going behind the scenes for one of Central Vietnam's classic Tet foods. This video is all about finding the different, awesome, unique Tet foods throughout the whole country of Vietnam. And right now, I'm here with Helen. And for you, what is so special about Tet? Tet is a very special time for us. It's a sacred time mm. that we spend with our families and uh, show uh, respect and gratitude to our ancestors. It's like Christmas in the US. It's a family gathering time and we will eat a lot of special food only dedicated for this special uh, occasion. And different region of Vietnam, we have different special food for each region. So what about here in Da Nang? Here in Da Nang, there's one specialty that you can't find anywhere else. And I will show you next. And let's go there next. Helen Lei has been making YouTube videos for years on her channel, Helen's Recipes. She's also the author of her recent book, Simply Pho. So who better to introduce me to an exclusive Central Vietnamese Tet food than her? Right now, we are headed into the place where they're making the che. We're gonna see exactly how this works and how it's all done. And we have to take our shoes off. No shoes in the food room. <laughs> oh my God, it's a lot of stairs. Oh, is this it? Oh, they got a whole operation going down in here. I did not expect this. Did you think there was like a whole factory like this up here? Of course, they sell a lot today. So of course, I, I expect it to be even bigger than this. Today, Helen is showing me Jay at this local Da Nang kitchen. It looks simple enough, but the process can be quite difficult, especially if you don't have one of these custom meat squeezers. The main ingredient is actually the pork ears and pork nose. And then they have pork skin mixed with uh, roasted rice powder. The main spice is uh, galango. You know galango? No. Galango, it's like uh, ginger. Kind you tried dog meat before? Dog. Galango and dog meat is on way together. <laughs> <laughs> But this one... Oh, now I know! <laughs> now you Galang know? Oh, okay. uh, Now you know, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't tried that in Vietnam. I haven't Why not? tried. It's a sensitive subject, and I, I love dogs, so I don't eat them. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this is uh, about Ted food and not about dog food. <laughs> so right now she's mixing up a big vent yeah, with all these different a, ingredients. Yeah, skin mixed with garlic and uh, roasted rice powder. The sliced pork is coming from right over here. Right. So this is pig ear and snout. So it's all, you know, cheaper cuts of pork, like the pig ear, pig nose, and pig skin. But it looks like she's trying to cut it as thin as possible. Yes, yes. And is that to just like make it a little softer, a little easier to eat? Yes, and it's a, it's a texture that you're looking for in trying out this one. Chewy and crunchy because the pig ear and uh, nose has a lot of gelatin. And this is how they make it solid? Yes, they compress it and they turn it by into a smaller portion. What? And then they can wrap in the banana leaf. This is a giant machine just made for compressing this cake. That's awesome. Oh, it's already have like a uh, grid inside. So yeah. it's already cut off. It's already separated into yeah. little squares, huh? Yes. I didn't know about this either. Yeah, this is fascinating, right? Like, who built this? So we've got our little squares of Che. Che, yes. Jay. Can you ask him if I can get one of these on eBay? eBay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. No? Oh. It's like brownies. It's like little brownies. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna peel these off, and I think he's gonna do this process over and over then? Yeah. Now we're over here with the final step, wrapping it in the banana leaf. This obviously takes a lot of experience, a lot of skill. They know exactly what they're doing. They put each little square into the banana leaf. They kind of crisscross them. They do one side to side, and then one the other direction. They throw a rubber band around it and bam, that is ready for people to take home and eat. No, eat. you need to wait for another two or three days so it uh, can ferment. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> and bam, wait two or three days and it'll ferment. Wait, what? When it ferments, it just gets a little more sour? Yeah, a little bit sour. Che Bade has been famous since 1956, creating a unique taste that can't be found anywhere else. Aside from Che, they also make their own chili jelly. And like us, patrons get both for takeout. And the center of Vietnam is really into these kind of fermented pork sour flavors. Because for this, mm. you don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen cooking. 
So we want to eat a lot of food that we can prepare beforehand. Yeah. That's why we have bánh chưng or the square cake, mm -hmm. bánh tét also, yeah. and uh, the fermented pork. So all this food can be kept for uh, like a week or 10 days. Are people preparing food like one week before? Yeah, yeah, or maybe uh, maybe more. Be relaxed, rest nicely, mm. and then wait for the guests to come and offer them the food mm. and have fun together. It's too late for me to dress nicely, but I am up for some relaxation and food. So we're headed to Helen's place where we'll finally get to try that che. We have this huge, amazing that spread. Mm -hmm. And what you said is true. It looks like all stuff that was prepared earlier. Yes. So today there was no actual cooking. No. It was just prepping and cutting frying a couple things here and there, but that's about it, right? Right. Now that we have our fermented che and chili jelly, it's time to construct the dish. First, removing the meat cubes, adding some pickled onion, chili jelly, peanuts, then shredding the meat cubes, adding more nuts, more chili jelly, and surrounding it with mint. Do we put it in one of these tiny bowls? Yes. Or is this for my we, whiskey? We, we mix it first. <laughs> okay. So uh, the herbs and the chili jam and the pickle. Oh. So let's just toss it. Yeah, as together? A, Teamwork? Yeah. Oh, and you need some beer. Very crucial. Oh, yeah. You, um, you can't have this without beer. I'm done with that. Oh, so uh, there's yeah. no. Hey, guys, there's no beer, so we're gonna drink some Remy Martin. Are we drinking Remy Martin? <laughs> as you uh, wish. Yeah, let's do it. You know, it's not even really? 11 a.m. There's no beer. Let's just start cracking down some hard alcohol. I like it. Yeah. Oh, there is beer. Thank you. Uh, everyone will share from one cup. Is that part of the tradition? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> Thank you. Chúc mừng. Chúc mừng. Năm. Năm. Mới. Yeah. Chúc mừng năm mới. Yes, chúc mừng năm mới. Let's try some of this. We're just going to throw it in the bowl like yes. that. It looks fatty, porky. And it's got that sour smell already, that fermented sour pork mm. smell. Let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. I was a little worried. Anytime I hear the word fermented, I get scared. Mmm. <laughs> it's very nice. Everything has its purpose. Herbs making it really fresh. The peanuts have a great texture in there. A little crunchy. It's just kind of a mild flavor, like a little bit salty from the chili jam, fatty, all together. It's, uh, it's awesome, I like it. I could eat a lot of that. Cheers to that. Good. Thank you so much for introducing me to this Da Nang My specialty. My pleasure. <laughs> Guys, we have all this awesome Tet food, which we're gonna eat on her channel. So if you wanna see the rest of that feast, check out her channel, her video to see us uh, talk about the rest of this food here. This TED series is made possible by One Trip Vietnam. Check back next video as I head to Southern Vietnam near Saigon to enjoy TED with a local family and make the classic Vietnamese ban TED. Really beautiful. So she's kind of put a heel or a cap on one end mm -hmm. and she's gonna pack it down and make sure it's super tight. That is gonna boil later on for six hours. Yes. One Trip is a tour company putting on tours in Saigon, Hoi An, Da Nang, and many more cities to come. Food to tours, adventure tours, and more. Riding with One Trip really is the best way to experience the real Vietnam. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. Happy New Year, chúc mừng nào mới, and a peace. Why don't you stay? Who wants to take a side? You really use the friend.